The Notre Dame men's hockey team looked to upset the number one team in the country for the second consecutive night on Saturday as they hosted the Minnesota Golden Gophers here at Compton Family Ice Arena. It was a busy first period. Minnesota would strike first with a power play wraparound goal. Then just about three minutes later, the Gophers go behind the net again and put it past Stephen Summerhays for an early two-goal lead. But the Irish would answer Vinny Henestroza with a nice pass to Shane Tacker, and Tacker one-times it into the back of the net to cut the Minnesota lead in half. Then with five minutes left in the period, Minnesota extends the lead again, but with time winding down, Mario Lucia scoops up the loose puck and scores his third goal of the year. The score is 3-2 Minnesota after one. In the last couple weekends, we've shown the ability to come from, come from behind, and you know that's an important characteristic that's going to help us down the road. You know that we have the confidence that we know that we can get back into a game. I mean, coming back from two down against a team of that quality, you know, it would have been nice to get that next one. But um, you know, I was pretty happy with the ability to bounce back. In the second period, Minnesota again extends the lead to two goals as Hudson Fashing scores for the Golden Gophers. Lucia doesn't want to be shown up by his dad's team, though. He gets his second goal of the night to pull Notre Dame back within a goal once again. Even if it wasn't my father coaching on their bench, it would be a good, good experience for our team um, and for our fans. But yeah, obviously with my dad being the coach, it brings a whole other aspect into, into play. And no, it was um, fun, especially for parents weekend having him here. Um, so yeah, it worked out well to have him here, and uh, it was a good series. Notre Dame on the five on three power play with time winding down in the period, and Steven Johns ties the game with just one second left on the clock. That's his second goal of the year, and we head into the locker room for the second intermission, all tied up at four. With about 10 minutes to go in the game, though, Jake Bischoff lights the lamp to put Minnesota ahead for good as the Golden Gophers get the weekend split with a 5 4 win. We've had games where we've had to play against physical opponents, and you know, we've handled that fairly well, like against the Western Michigan against Michigan Tech, and then you know, in the games where we have to play a speed game like against Minnesota, we showed that we can skate with them. So, and that's really important, that, you know, the fact that we can play either game because you, know, you, you get into the playoffs, you, you get into the middle of the hockey season, you know, we're going to face teams that bring different elements to their game, and I thought that tonight we showed that we can skate with anybody. The Irish will be back on the ice on Friday night as they host Merrimack College for the first Hockey East Conference game here at Compton. For Fighting Irish Digital Media, I'm Megan Bastido. Go Irish!